रचना के आधार पर वाक्य रूपांतरण सेंटेंस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इट्स कॉम्पोजिशन गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन दिस इज द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टुडे द डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस बेस्ड अपॉन द इट्स फॉर्मेशन एंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट और ट्रांसफॉर्म वन सेंटेंस इन टू दर वन वाक्य रचना की दृष्टि से सेंटेंस फ्रॉम द एंगल ऑफ इट्स कॉम्पोजिशन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू मेन पार्ट उद्देश्य एंड विधे न वॉट इज उद्देश्य वाक्य में जिसके बारे में बताया जाता है उसे उद्देश्य कहते हैं इन अ सेंटेंस द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज बींग स्पोकन अबाउट इज नोन एज उद्देश्य वाक्य में उद्देश्य के विषय में जो कुछ बताया जाता है उसे विधेय कहते हैं इन द सेंटेंस वॉट एवर इज बींग स्पोकन अबाउट द उद्देश्य और सब्जेक्ट दैट इज नोन एज विधेय Now let's take some examples in which I'll make it clear what is उद्देश्य and विधे उद्देश्य शीला ने राम को कहानी सुनाई Now who is being spoken about here? Sheila. So Sheila is the, is the उद्देश्य कहानी सुनाई is the विधे मीरा कपड़े धो रही थी Meera was washing the cloth. Here Meera is being spoken about. So Meera is the उद्देश्य विधे मदन झगड़ रहा था What was मदन doing? झगड़ रहा था दैट इज विधे राधा गा रही थी वॉट वॉज राधा डूइंग शी वॉज सिंगिंग सो गा रही थी इज द विधे इंपॉर्टेंट नोट नाउ चिल्ड्रन ऑल ऑफ यू टेक केयर ऑफ वन पॉइंट कई वाक्यों में उद्देश्य बीच में होता है और विधे उद्देश्य के आगे या पीछे होता है इन मेनी सेंटेंसेस उद्देश्य इज इन द सेंटर it is not necessary that udeshya will always be in the beginning in certain sentences the udeshya is in the center and vidhe might be in front or behind it like for example in this sentence aasman par kaale badal chaye hain there are black clouds in the sky so here what is the subject the subject is udeshya is kaale badal and what is being spoken about it that aasman par chaye hain so these are udvidhe so here uddeshya is in the center and vidhe is in the front in the back so you may come across such sentences also please pay attention to the sentences when you come across them in the exam vakya bhed now this is different kinds of sentences rachna ya banavat ke aadhar par now these kinds are based upon their composition or their formation saral vakya what we call as simple sentences in english sanyukt vakya or compound sentences mishra vakya or the mixed or the complex sentences let's learn about each of these types and how do you transform one type into the other one saral vakya simple sentences जिन वाक्यों में एक ही क्रिया हो अर्थात एक ही विधेय हो भले ही कर्ता एक से अधिक हो उन्हें सरल वाक्य कहते हैं दो सेंटेंसेस इन विच देर इज ओनली वन विधेय मे बी द सब्जेक्ट माइट बी मोर देन वन दे आर नोन एस सरल वाक्य ओनली वन क्रिया इज देर सो जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दैट जैसे नेहा और रूपा बाजार गई सो हियर देर इज ओनली वन विधेय बाजार गई हियर कर्ता इज बोथ नेहा एंड रूपा कबूतर उड़ा उड़ा वन विधे राम खा रहा है He's eating. वह फलों के लिए बाजार गया He went to the market for fruits. राम खाना खाकर सो गया He had food and slept off. So these are all सरल वाक्य संयुक्त वाक्य Children, in this mainly what you have to pay attention to is that there will be two independent sentences in this they both will have they both will be complete in themselves okay jin vakyon ke sabhi upvakya saman star ke hote hain aur koi kisi par aashrit nahi hote unhe sanyukt vakya kehte hain in sanyukt vakya there will be two sentences which are complete in themselves 
none of these sub part of the sentences depend on the other one. Let's find out what are the clues. How do you identify Sanyukt Vakya? Sanyukt Vakya me do ya do se adhik swatantri vakya yojit chinnon ke dwara jude rehte hai. Now in this Sanyukt Vakya, two or more than two sentences which are independent. They are joined together with joining words or connecting words like kintu, parintu, or, tatha, isliye, ya, atwa, anyatha, atah, ityadi, yojak, shabd, hote hai. So they are connected with these words. So in the exam, suppose you get a question, just concentrate on these words. Even if you learn them by heart, it's good. Yojak, shabd, shabd. Samuchay bodhag avye hote hai. Now these are avye. Avye, I have already explained it in the other video, so I'm not going deep into that. Here, let's do some examples of Sayyukt Vakya. Mujhe bukhar tha, is liye mein vidyale nahi ja saka. Here, if you see that mujhe bukhar tha is an independent sentence, mein vidyale nahi ja saka is an independent sentence and they are connected together with is liye. Vah bazaar gaya aur usne saman kharida. He went to the market and he bought things. Now here also you see the word aur is there so it's easy to identify. Mazdoor mehnat karta hai parantu use laab nahi milta. Here it's these two sentences they are joined with the connecting word parantu. Badal ghire Tatha andhera cha gaya. Here tatha is there. Maini uski bohar pratiksha ki. Kintu vaha nahi aya. So kintu, tatha, parantu, or is liye. Just look out for these words. If that is there, mostly it is sayyukt vakhe. But there is one exception to this. Sometimes these connecting words may not be there. Kya socha tha? Kya ho gaya? But a comma is there and you should remember children that when the comma is there, you just look at the two parts of the sentence. Are they complete in themselves? Are they full sentences or are they dependent on each other? If they are not dependent on each other, they are Sayyutva ke. Kya socha tha? Kya ho gaya? Now let's talk about the third type which is Mishra or Mishrit Vakya, complex sentences. Aise Vakya jin mein ek pradhan up Vakya aur dusra ashrit up Vakya hota hai, Mishra Vakya kehlate hai. Now such sentences in which you have one main sentence and the others, they are dependent on that, it is known, they are known as complex Mishrit Vakya. Now how do you identify? Mishra Vakya mein ek se adhik up Vakya hote hai. In a Mishra Vakya, there are more than one Vakya. Is prakar ke Vakya mein ek pradhan Vakya hota hai aur shesh anya Vakya us par ashrit hote hai. As I already told you, one will be the main Vakya and the others will be dependent on this main Vakya. Jo Vakya ashrit hote hai, those Vakya which are dependent. Ashrit means dependent. Unhe ashrit Vakya kehte hai. They are known as ashrit Vakya. Let's look into some examples. It will be very clear to you then. Ye upvakya aapas mein vyathi karan yojikun se jude rehte hai. And the connecting words which join these upvakya they are jo, jab, tab, jaha, vaha, ki, kyon ki, agar, yadi, ityadi hote hai. Fine? So look out for these words, connecting words. If they are there, mostly it is Mishrit Vakya. Jab Gita ne mehnet ki, tab vah prathamai. When Gita worked hard, she became first. Now you can see that these sentences, they are not independent. They are dependent on each other. Jo shatra parishram karte hai, ve hi sapal hote hai. Those students who work hard, they become successful. Jaisi hi suryast hua, charo taraf andhera cha gaya. As soon as the sun set, it became dark in all, in all the four directions. Yadyapi vah dubla patla hai, tathapi vah taakatwar hai. Even though he is thin, he is strong. Vah vidyale nahi aya, kyunki vah 
बीमार है He did not come to school because he is sick. Now I hope from the sentence whichever I spoke about, children, you would have seen that all these sentences, the part of this parts of the sentences are dependent. Okay, because he did this, he this happened to him like that. When you read in the exam that this is how they are dependent on each other. Remember, they are Mishrit Vaki. Let's do some important uh, sentences for uh, three to five, so that you have a good practice. जैसे ही शाम हुई बिजली चली गई. Now here, which is the मुख्य वाक्य? It is बिजली चली गई. योजक. What is the connecting word? जैसे. And आश्रित वाक्य शाम हुई. Same way, if you see children, these five sentences I've just written down the मुख्य वाक्य, योजक and आश्रित वाक्य. Go through them. You have a doubt? Let me know. Vakya rupantar. Now sentence transformation. एक वाक्य का दूसरे वाक्य में रचना की दृष्टि से रूपांतरित होना वाक्य रूपांतरण कहलाता है. What do you mean by वाक्य रूपांतरण? Sentence formation. When one sentence is transformed into another sentence from the angle of its formation. It is known as vakya rupantaran. We'll do some examples. It will be clear to you. Saril vakya. Con converting the saril vakya into sanyukt vakya and mishra vakya. Then you can convert sanyukt vakya into saril vakya and mishra vakya. Again, you can convert mishra vakya into saril vakya and sanyukt vakya. In tino vakya ke aapas mein rupantaran hote samay, inke arth mein parivartan nahi hona chahiye. Now children, please pay attention to this. When you are transforming a sentence from Saril Vakyu to Sanyukt Vakyu or Mishra Vakyu, the meaning of the sentence should not change. Parivartan nahi hona chahi means it should not change. Jaisi, for example, Pratah kaal pakshi chahe chahate hai. Now this is a Saril Vakyu. In the morning, birds chirp. Okay? Pratah kaal hua or Now, children, see here the joining word or. And always remember, in front of the joining word, you should have put a comma. Okay, so here there are two independent sentences. Prater kal hua means it became morning. Or and pakshi chahe chahane lage. The birds started chirping. This is a sanyukt vakya. Now there is no change in the meaning here. Jab prater kal hua, tab pakshi chahe chahane lage. This is Mishrit Vakya. Now, children, you saw here, Jab has been put and even Tab has been put. So, you understood from this, like when you see here, Jab, you see here Tab, it is Mishrit Vakya. When you see Or, it is Sayyut Vakya. And in Saral Vakya, you have just a plain sentence with one vidhe. Pratal Kaal Pakshi Chai Chahate Hai. Let's do some practice. Yeah, children, you just practice with me. When I am speaking, you just find out the answer and see whether you're right or wrong. Okay, that will definitely help you have a lot of good practice. Achhe ladke mehneti hote hai. This is sadharan vakya ya saral vakya. We are converting this to mishrit vakya. Now, mishrit vakya means what? There should be something like connecting words like jo, jab, tab. Okay. So here we'll make it. जो लड़के मेहनती होते हैं, वे अच्छे होते हैं. Those who are hardworking are good. छतरी वाले आदमी को बुलाओ. Call the person with the umbrella. This is सरल वाक्य. How do you change change it into मिश्रित? उस आदमी को बुलाओ जिसके पास छतरी है. Call that person who has umbrella. वह कपड़े खरीदने के लिए बाजार गया. He went to the market to buy clothes. उसे कपड़े खरीदने थे इसलिए Now children observe this word इसलिए बाजार गया प्रधानाचार्य के आते ही प्रार्थना शुरू हुई As soon as the principal came, prayer started. जैसे ही प्रधानाचार्य आए वैसे ही प्रार्थना शुरू हुई See the words जैसे वैसे ही Okay? स्वस्थ रहने के लिए तुम्हें दूध पीना चाहिए 
टू रिमेन हेल्थी यू शुड ड्रिंक मिल्क यदि स्वस्थ रहना है तो तुम्हें दूध पीना चाहिए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी हेल्थी यू शुड ड्रिंक मिल्क यदि यू वेन यू कन्वर्ट यू सी दैट यू कन्वर्ट इन सच अ वे दैट वन सेंटेंस बिकम्स डिपेंडेंट ऑन दी अदर दैट इज अ क्लू फॉर दिस चिल्ड्रेन मनु ने अलौकिक दृश्य देखा Manu saw some alaukik drishya means which is very heavenly seen. Manu ne ek drishya dekha jo alaukik tha. Make the two paths here dependent on each other. Then it becomes mishrit vakya. Children, I hope you can do the rest of them. Let me know in case you need any help. Now we are going to convert saril vakya to sanyukt vakya. now what is uh, what is sanyukt vakya where there are two independent sentences they are not dependent on each other but they have connecting words aap kha kar aaram kare aap khana khaye aur aaram kare suryast hone par here if you see aap khana khaye that is one sentence aaram kare this aaram kare is not dependent on this or this is not dependent on this suryast hone par andhkar cha gaya when it became uh, sunset it was it became dark suryast hua aur andhkar cha gaya you have this connecting word or here vah bhojan karke vidyalay jata hai vah bhojan karta hai aur vidyalay jata hai so one clue that you can learn from this is that the simple sentence break it into two sentences which are independent and they are joined with a connecting word that is a clue badal ghirkar bhi na barse even though the clouds uh, were there it did not rain badal ghire parantu varsha na hui so one clue is uh, children make it separate and learn all the connecting words in case of sanyukt vakya and learn the connecting words in the case of mishrit vakya if you are thorough with that and if you do little bit of practice i'm sure you're going to get very good score in this topic i think the rest you all have to sit and practice let me know if you need help now children here, here we are going to transform the mixed sentences into sanyukt vakya sanyukt means compound in which they become independent sentences and are joined with a connecting word mishrit vakya means the sentences are interdependent one sentence will be main and the other one will be dependent on that main sentence yadi aap ghar aaye तो आपसे बात हो इफ यू कम होम देन वी कैन टॉक आप घर आई सो दिस वन ब्रेक इन टू टू इंडिपेंडेंट सेंटेंसेस एंड जॉइन इट विद कनेक्टिंग वर्ड दैट इज क्लू आप घर आइए और बात कीजिए नो देर आर टू थिंग्स इन दिस वन इज कमिंग होम एंड वन टॉकिंग सो मेक इट सेपरेट एंड जॉइन इट विद और और एनी सच कनेक्टिंग वर्ड विच इज नॉर्मली यूज इन संयुक्त वाक्य जब विद्यालय में पढ़ाई बंद हो गई तब हम घर लौट आए नो हियर देर आर टू थिंग्स दैट इज है स्टडीज स्टॉप इन द स्कूल एंड वी केम बैक होम सेपरेट देम एज मेक देम इंडिपेंडेंट सेंटेंसेस एंड कनेक्ट देम विद जॉइनिंग वर्ड वेन द स्कूल वेन द स्कूल द स्टडी स्टॉप वी रिटर्न होम विद्यालय में पढ़ाई बंद हो गई we made it as a uh, full sentence complete in itself in the school the study stopped aur hum ghar laut aaye now this or children if you see this or it is a connecting word which is normally used in sanyukt vakya okay mere pita ji ve hain jo kursi par baithe hain my father is that person who is sitting on the chair वे मेरे पिताजी हैं और कुर्सी पर बैठे हैं राइट right? जो तोता पिंजरे में बंद है वह फल खा रहा है टू थिंग्स दैट द पैरेट इज यू नो क्लोज इन द केज एंड व्हाट इज द पैरेट डूइंग इट्स ईटिंग अ फ्रूट मेक इट इंडिपेंडेंट तोता पिंजरे में बंद है द पैरेट इज क्लोज इन द केज एंड फल खा रहा है इट्स ईटिंग फ्रूट जब मंत्री का भाषण समाप्त हो गया तब वे घर आ गए वेन द लीडर स्पीच फिनिश एट दैट टाइम ही केम होम दिस इज मिश्रित वाक्य हियर बिकॉज यू कैन फाइंड दैट वन 
sentence is dependent on the other. Mantri ka bhashan samapt ho gaya. Now you're making them independent. That his speech finished and he came home. Now the rest, whatever examples are there, please go through them yourself and let me know if you have any doubts. Now we are doing some examples in which we are converting Mishrit Vakya into simple sentences of the Saral Vakya. Children, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe because you know that is what uh, keeps me motivated. And please uh, thank you all so much for the comments, whoever passes the comments. Please do pass comments. Please do suggest if there is some improvement needed or you want it in some other way. Mishrit Vakya. Jab varsha hoti hai, mor naachne lagte hai. When it rains, peacock starts dancing. Saril Vakya. What is the uh, simple sentence here? Varsha hone par, mor naachne lagte hai. When it rains, moon starts. The peacock starts dancing. Ram ne kaha ki vah nirdosh hai. Ram said, that he is innocent. Ram ne khud ko nirdosh ghoshit kya. Now children, when you convert this complex sentences into simple sentences, you may have to use some extra words from your end, but the meaning of the sentence should not change with that. Now here, Ram ne kaha ki vah nirdosh hai. Ram ne khud ko nirdosh ghoshit ka. Nirdosh kaha. Even kaha you can use. No issues. But khud ko himself mujhe batao ki aapka janma kaha aur kab hua tha tell me when were you born where were you born and when were you born aap mujhe apne janma ka sthaan aur samay batao you tell me about your birthplace and time jinki aay kam hai unhe mitvayi hona chahiye those whose income is less they should be frugal Un kam aai walum ko mitvayi hona chahiye. People with less income should be frugal in nature. Jab shikshik kaksha mein aai, tab unho ne vadhana shiru kiya. Now, these jab and tab, they, they are there, which is connecting these two sentences, right? And here, one is dependent on the other. Here, how will you convert it into saral vakya? Shikshik ne kaksha mein aakar vadhana shiru kiya. The teacher came to the class and started teaching. That is Saral Vakya. The rest is for your practice. Go through them. Try to understand them. See the logic and score good marks in the exam. Okay, children. Now in this, we are converting Sanyukt Vakya to Mishrit Vakya. Now Sanyukt Vakya, the sentences are independent. Okay. And they are joined with connecting words like or etc. I think I've already explained. I'm not going again into it. Main achha khela kintu haar gaya. I played well but I lost. Yadyapi main achha khela fir bhi haar gaya. Even though I played well, you made this sentence each interdependent. Fir bhi haar gaya. Paat samapt hua aur ghanti bach gaya. The lesson finished and the bell rang. Jaisi hi paat samapt hua, vaisi hi ghanti baj gai. Now the best clue that I can give you children is that in Mishrit, they are dependent. The uh, Upvakya are dependent. In Sainth Vakya, they are independent. And please learn, as I told you before, the connecting words which are used in case of Sainth Vakya and the connecting words which are used in case of Mishrit Vakya. Bijli jati hi TV band ho gai. As soon as the current went, the TV stopped. Jaisi hi bijli gai, vaisi hi TV band ho gai. Jaisi hi, vaisi hi. Vah mehneti hai, atah vah parajai swikar nahi karta. He is hardworking, so he does not accept failure. Vah aisa mehneti hai, jo parajai swikar nahi karta. He is that kind of a hardworking person who does not accept parajai or failure. Vah parishrami tha aur safal hua. He was hard work, working and became successful. Vah parishrami tha is liye safal hua. He was hard working. That is why he became successful. Now children, the rest, rest all you have to practice and get back to me in case you need further help. Thank you all for watching Rivora Tube. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. 
so that you get a notification as soon as I upload a video meant for you. The next video will be class 10 Hindi grammar topic Padbandh. It will be an English explanation of that. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye children.